The Bridal Business Tempest Trials is almost over, but I still want to talk about the rewards now that I'm back. As usual, score the maximum 50,000 points to get up to 42 orbs, 11,000 feathers, and 80 sacred coins. You can get 50 Ephemera 5 Divine Codes and 1 Link Blessing for Mythic Nerthus. Sacred Seals this time are Defense Red's Catch and Rouse Speed and Defense. The reward unit will be Groom Robin, and you can get a Forest and Firestar copy. We'll talk about them more later on. First new Sacred Seal is Defense Red's Catch 3. At start of combat, if the foe has full health or a penalty active, then you get plus 5 Defense Red's during combat. Another Catch Seal for your Cavaliers and Flyers, providing stats for either phase with no positioning requirements. Catch skills are generally good and easy to use because 99% of the time, first rounds of combat are against a full health enemy. This lets it stay active against multiple attackers if needed. For consistency, they are best when paired with debuffs or status effects on the enemy. That will ensure you always get those stats, and for the tier 3 catch skills, you don't get the bonus for meeting both conditions. Your defensive tanks may be better with Tiefner's form or shield session for higher boost, but Cavaliers and Flyers get to move around a bunch. Catch will let you retain those tank stats if you're forced to move around. Personally, I've been upgrading all the Catch Sacred Seals and have been swapping them out pretty often. I think they are decent Sacred Seals to utilize. The other seal for this month is Rouse Speed and Defense 3. At start of turn, if unit is solo, grant plus 6 Speed and Defense Field Boss to the user. Rouse skills are self boss for Cavaliers and Inventory units, but require you to be all alone. Depending on your team and map layout, this isn't always possible, so they're not always super easy to activate. Additionally, there isn't a huge reason to run self buffing skills as Sacred Seals, since most reside in the C slot anyway. Rouse Speed and Defense can be gotten from Ferdinand von Eyre, who is a demo if you really want Speed and Defense boss. Generally, I don't think Oath and Rouse Sacred Seals are high priority upgrades. You can get their C skill counterparts, and you can get field buffs from allies and stack those with in common buffs like the Catch Seals. Upgrade if you want or need field buffs on the units, but otherwise, pretty easy pass for now. I know it's only for fun, but dressing up like a groom still gives me butterflies in my stomach. There's no greater joy than spending your days with the one you love. The reward unit for this month is Grim Robin, who continues his year of alts. This Robin will be a Red Mage Cavalier with 40 HP, 46 attack, 35 speed, 23 defense, and 24 resistance. He has a defense super boon, but Mage Cavaliers aren't exactly the pinnacle of tanky type units. Robin isn't the fastest, but he can use that 35 speed to double slur tanks, and he has a very impressive 46 base attack. I believe that is the highest base attack in the game for any mage, and will tie with his own legendary ult for highest possible attack stat for a mage as well. Basically, Grim Robin is pretty much a glass cannon, although he isn't super fast. For his weapon, Robin has the Ring of Alliance Plus, inheritable 12 might red tome that states, if the unit initiates or is within 2 spaces of an ally, grant plus for all stats and inflict penalty on foe's stats equal to 2 times the current field boss on the enemy during combat. Like Bridal Flavia's Sword, Ring of Alliance Plus has the built-in in-combat panic effect. If the foe doesn't have any field buffs, then it's just a plain plus for all stab weapon. Not the worst weapon, but the bar for red inheritable tomes ain't very high, and Ring of Alliance isn't going to raise that bar much if at all. It does at least affect all four stats. For the rest of his base kit, Robin gets drawback to use with Speed and Res Snag 3. If you use a movement assist skill, inflict minus 6 speed and defense on nearest foes within 4 spaces of unit and ally. For his A skill, Robin is going to get Speed and Res Catch 3, plus 5 Speed and Res against full health foes or foes with active penalties. Technically, these Catch and Snag variants are rare. Both have only been on one 5 star unit each. Sadly, Speed and Res Snag 4 does not exist yet, and it's still questionable if units want to run it anyway. As for Speed and Res Catch, it's fine, just not a common stat combo. Generally speaking, Robin has double speed focus skills to boost his lower speed stat, and he'll get extra res to stack with Ring of Alliance. The res debuffs will boost his damage further, but you need to stack up stack skills, and if Robin is the one doing it, then obviously he can't make an attack in the same turn unless he got a dancer. You can use it as a retreat option, but Robin or his teammate would be waiting for the enemy phase to start then. Now in terms of fodder, super rare skills, but not the most common skills most units are going to want. For merging the neutral nature, Robin will get plus 1 HP, attack, and speed. That is fine. You could take the defense super boon, but Robin isn't exactly starting at a high point for defense, and Mage Cavaliers just do not make the best defensive type units. Even if you stack defense skills, Robin is still going to take some decent damage. For free to play comparisons, Groom Robin has very little competition. That doesn't make him a top tier unit immediately, but if you want damage with some speed on a magic horse, then he's basically the best for the job. 
There are only two other non five star red mage camps, and that is Arte and Valentine's Atania. Because there are so few options, I'll include the free Mage Erica everyone can get from the Hero's Path quest. If you include Dragonfly as Robin is the clear winner in terms of attack, no doubt. His speed can be met by Titania, but she is 13 whole attack behind him, instead throwing all those points into resistance. Arate is similarly res focused, but does have that higher attack and HP you could go with it. You can't exactly merge Mage Erica easily, but she does have a refine for Gleipner that is okay, generally speaking. The main benefit for Robin is that his super high attack focus synergizes with the one current arcade red tome. That is pretty much the saving grace for Robin at the moment. In terms of builds, Ring of Alliance just works on both phases, but it's out of your control whether the enemy has field buffs. You just don't want to neutralize or panic those enemy buffs. We have a couple catch secret seals to use, and when attacking demons catch 3, you can get plus 5 to all stats in the kits, and then you get another plus 4 stats from Ring of Alliance. This at least gives Robin some speed demons and rest to fight with. For speed and rest snag, you need to set up with a drawback first, or have an ally move Robin themselves. It's a nice debuff if you can get it to work, but you could also just run something like link buffs in general as an alternative. For C skills, to keep catch active, you could run a smoke debuff. Otter Even Speed Wave or a Rouse buff also work as well. For some other stat boosters, you could run Swiss Sparrow or Fury plus a Titan Speed Solo in that seal slot. One issue for Robin is being able to double tanks with Fall of Denial. I believe the only skill Mage Cavaliers can run to get a Fall of Type effect is Breaker skills, which are specialized. Robin probably has to eat a counter attack as well, so don't expect any long term usage. For specials, I would go with Glimmer due to Robin's high base attack. Moombo could work as well. I'm not a huge fan of most inheritable red tomes, but if you don't want to splurge for the arcane red tome, you can at least get some very nice skills for Robin thanks to the recent Ephemer common manuals. Last month, we had Attack and Speed Catch 4 and Swiss Sparrow 3, both are fine options. This month, we have Attack and Menace from Fallen Male Morgan. Robin can put him in timeout and take away that nice C skill even if the debuffing range doesn't match the reach of a Mage Cavalier. These skills are basically just more stats, and I would like to add some more combative effects from that B slot. Unfortunately, pickings are slim for Mage Cavaliers. We say it as a joke, but I'm like 93% sure the reason for lack of decent Mage Cav skills is still Reinhardt. Don't get me wrong, Vartrace Kanto is nice, Seal Res 4 is fun, Guard 4 is an option. But for those without unique weapons, there are not a lot of useful perks to pair with the current inheritable weapon selection. It can do fine in general non-serious content, but that's not a very high bar. The only reason Grim Robin isn't immediately forgotten is that the Arcane Eclipse exists, and it's all about burst damage which just so happens to work nicely with the highest attack mage in the game. It gives him Slang and Quicken Pulse which lets Robin prime a Glimmer, Moomba, or Ruptured Sky immediately. He gets plus 5 extra stats, a follow-up attack, and neutralizes attack debuffs too. The free follow-up is vital as it gives Robin a chance to double into that follow-up denial effects. He just needs to worry about getting to that second attack. If you just want to use his long range for a cheesy kill, slap on Quick and Pulse as a seal to pre-charge a Luna or Draconic Aura special. If you can get minus one cooldown from elsewhere like Asker, Legend of Hector, or Pence, then you can also pre-charge things like AoE specials. Robin could become a makeshift Legendary Lulina, albeit he probably ain't gonna recharge a second special. If you want to use Arcane Eclipse for a more brawling type build, then Remote Sparrow gives much needed defense or damage reduction. You could also use Sail Res 4 with Attack of His Menace to proc Guard, and if Robin outspeeds, he has a chance to double at least. Now the main issue with Arcane Eclipse for non infantry mages is that Robin has no way to deal with damage reduction, no special Sparrow 4, and still no mage special that pierces DR. That being said, the other issue is that affects all special focus builds, is that Scout Dragons are not going away, you can't really do anything about Harmonic Tiki's Devil Dragon Wall DR and Armored Flow. Let's not even discuss Hardy Fighter. Overall, okay Tempest Trials, nothing too crazy about the Sacred Seals, our new Hero Grail unit, or the Fodder skills. Green Robin is basically the best free to play Red Mage camp if you want pure damage and would do fine with the Arcane Red Tome currently available. You could just use the old Blade Dome for raw attack. Ring of Alliance Plus is not terrible, but it's also not super insane like say some of the inheritable melee weapons with full no follow up effects. I could see it being okay on a stat stack mage, but you're gonna want more combative effects to pair with it. For the most part, Robin has little competition, so if you want to plus 10 a free to play red mage cavalier, then he ain't bad. With the Arcane Eclipse special charging playstyle, he can do some damage from long range. 
Sadly, no real way to deal with damage reduction for this class type. The Tempest Trials is ending very soon, so keep on farming for those rewards. Next video from me will be about this month's Legendary Hero in a couple of days. Thank you for watching, and thank you for being patient. I will see you guys in the next video.